Hey everyone, welcome to Learning Curve Bakers. Welcome back to the grow room. I've got a few things set up, but before I start planting, I wanted to just show you something. My seed order came in. So this was my order that came from, from Heritage Harvest Seed. All right, so let's just show you what came in my seed order. There's the package. Now, I have to admit, I wasn't overly impressed with everything. Um, considering the fact how much I loved their catalog, I found I found their uh, seed packets to be a little lackluster. Like, yes, they've got this beautiful old-fashioned um, seed packet and design. But I really would have loved to have seen a picture of some sort of what I've got. It all it says each one is ident each uh, seed packet's identical. You'll see, with the exception of a sticker at the top. Sorry. So that's <coughs> pardon me. That was a little disappointing. And then on the back. Like for the herbs, it's so general. It just says, okay, if you've got angelica, if you've got the basil or the hyssop, the borage, you know, so you got to go through and find, okay, where's mine? And there, you know, then you go, okay, so this is the lovage, so this is how I'm going to be doing it. Um, and then the cucumbers, you know, it's the same general information for everything right across the board. And so I did find, I find their, their seed packets to be a little bit vague. Also, I noticed when I opened it up, can you see here, I've got little seeds in the bottom of this baggie. That's why I put them into a baggie when I first opened it. Because they, I had these tiny seeds everywhere. These are computer done seed packets. And you can see I've got a, another bag that I had started collecting them in. But these are computer done seed packets and I find, where's that one? Oh, here it is here. The bottom of this one here. Well, it's it's got a, it's got a small hole in it. I'll try and this is the lovage, and can you see, we, it looks like we even have a seed, another seed, yeah, popping out. So I am losing my seeds everywhere. And, oh, this isn't the lovage, this is the lemon bomb. Now, this was a free gift, which is nice, but it's not so great when it's, when you're losing the seeds all over the house. And so I just, Yes, they're still a fairly young company. They've got a few things that I'd like, I personally would like to see them improve on. Um, just to be a better company and to have better packaging. So I have that seed order. And then, of course, I did pick up a few, a few other seeds here. Just put them down here for you. So I picked up the early prolific straight neck squash and then some flowers um, Johnny Jump Up, the hollyhocks the oriental poppies I have tried hollyhocks before I've never had any luck with them this is my last year and then I give up um, I don't know how many times I've tried to do hollyhocks but I thought it'd be nice to have a few poppies for the for the pollinators as well and of course, you can't go wrong with a little spray of, a little area with just some scattered jump, Johnny Jump Ups coming up. And then I also picked up some pumpkins, heirloom quality again, and that's what you'll see here, heirloom perennial variety. Um, so these are just, hopefully I'll be able to make some, some pie this year. And then I needed some more marigolds. I've been saving some seeds, but I just figured 
it'd be nice to have some of the dwarfs, uh, dwarf variety to mix in with my uh, Cracker Jack ones, which are just, those are the giant ones. So I just thought I'd show you what I, what I've picked up as well as the, that the seed order came in. Now, all in all, I'm happy with the seeds. I just, I would like to see their, their envelopes look a little nicer, their actual seed packages. I love when you've got all this information with when you should be uh, sowing your seed and all the information that comes with it, germination time, right through till bloom time. The more information, the better. And the picture on the front, I'm very visual. I like to be able to see what's, what I'm, what I'm hoping to grow. Anyways, that's it for me. Um, it is the beginning of April and I have decided to try and do the 30 and 30 challenge this month. So hopefully by the end of the month, you won't be sick of me and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.